Hello all, welcome back to netstrikers.com. My name is Aditya Dube and in this tutorial we will learn how to connect two different networks using command line interface in Cisco Packet Racer. So let's start. So in order to connect two router, we need to first pick one router from this panel and select the generic one or, or you can choose your router of any choice. So I'm going to select the generic one and I'm going to place two generic router and uh, this router will further connect it to switch of generic type you can choose any one of the switch and uh, I'm going to place the generic switch here and this switch is further connected to generic computer so I'm going to select the end device and within the end device I got various type of end device so I'm going to select the first which is the PC so the PC1 PC2 I'm going to keep only two devices further if you want you can add multiple devices and uh, same for the network 2 as well now we need to connect these devices or these nodes with the connection wire so I am going to select the automatically choose connection type and just select this one wire with this one connect switch with PC as well as this PC with switch now this router will connect with switch 1 and finally connect this router with router 1 so we have successfully made our connection but as you can see these lights aren't turned to green that means our router is not configured yet so to configure our router number 1 we need to select this router router 0 and uh, we need to click here in the CLI remember in the earlier section we did the configuration in the fast ethernet 0 dot zero but in this case we are going to do the fast ethernet configuration under the command line interface so let's click on the cli and it will ask you to enter the return key so and return key is by default enter so i'm going to press enter and we are in the user mode so well user mode doesn't have any privileges to make changes in the command line interface so we are going to use the root privileges and in order to move to the root privileges you just need to type en or you can type enable itself and uh, you can press the tab key to complete the command prompt automatically so i'm going to press enable and press enter and as you can see the sign is converted to the hash or the pound sign which represent the root user privileges now i need to further go up into the configuration terminal so i'm going to type configure terminal and press enter and as you can see router is in the configuration mode so in this configuration mode I am going to select the interface through which I want to connect uh, the router IP address so I am going to type interface followed by the fast ethernet since my device which is switch is further connected with fast ethernet and the 0 slash 0 port so I am going to select the 0 slash 0 and as soon as I press enter as you can see configuration of the interface is now been prompted now we need to provide the IP address to this fast ethernet 0.0, .0 interface so how to do that you just need to type IP address and just supply the IP address of your own choice so I am going to supply the simple IP which is 192.168.1.1 and followed by that you need to supply the subnet mask of class C so subnet mask for class C will be 255.255.255.0 and as soon as I press enter the IP address is configured for the fast ethernet 0.0, .0. so you can further add the description if you want so it to or in order to add the description you just need to type description command followed by the router or you can call it your name itself just for the remembering purposes you can provide the description in the router so I am going to type one range now since I configured my router to provide the IP address of uh, 1.1 range so I am going to exit now so to exit from this uh, interface mode you just need to type exit and we are now back into the configuration mode you can still press exit to back to the user privilege mode so I am going to close this terminal now and uh, now what I need to do just cross check in the graphical user interface of the router 0 that further whether my configuration are completed or not so I am going to click here and in the configuration terminal I am going to select the fast ethernet 0 so as you can see our configuration is moved 
but our port status is still turn off so we need to on our terminal uh, port status so to convert uh, this uh, into the green term green light so i just need to type uh, no shut down and as soon as i press enter you can see this lights are turned from red to green and it will take little bit of time to con convert for the switch as well so we are going to configure our router number two so to configure just follow the same step that you did in our router number zero so just select this router click on the command line interface type the no and uh, type enable command just to move to the administrative privileges now type configure terminal and uh, select the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 as you can see here fast ethernet 0 slash 0 in the graphical user part so when i press center i'm inside the interface of fast ethernet 0, 0.0 now i need to supply the ip address but remember this ip would be different from that ip so i'm then going to type ip address followed by 192.168.2.1 in our previous router we have configured our ip of one range but in this router we are going to provide ip of two range now similarly provide the subnet mask of class c 255.255.255.0 and uh, you can switch on the port status to on just type no shut down and uh, just press ctrl c in order to move back to the user privileges so let's close this terminal now as you can see this port light is turned to green now this router will not route the information or route the packets from this router to point this so this phenomena is known as dce and dte so how do we configure this serial port so let's open the router number zero and select the cli section just we did earlier but in this case we are going to configure the serial port of this so by default i just need to type configure terminal and within that i need to type interface followed by serial 2 slash 0 so since i connected my router with the serial port of 2.0 so i need to press enter followed by that i need to apply the ip address of router 2 which is of this so i just need to type ip address followed by 192.168.2.1 followed by its subnet mask which is 255.255.255.0 and as soon as i provide the ip address i need to provide the clock rate as well so just type clock rate but you need to remember one thing clock rate is already provided in the dce section not in the dte so i just need to type clock rate i'm going to provide the value of 64000 by default and at last I need to type no shutdown to switch the port status on. Now I need to close my router 0 and uh, I have to do the same thing in the router 1. So move back to the configuration terminal and within the configuration change the interface of the serial 2 slash 0. Provide the IP address of the router 1, so I am going to type IP address followed by the router 1 IP address which is 192.168.1.1 followed by subnet mask of class C. Now I need to switch on the port status, so type no shutdown to switch on the port status. So as soon as I press enter you can see this lights are turned to green instead of red. So our router is configured successfully to route information but our PCs are not yet provided with the IP address. So to provide the static IP address just click here just as we did in our previous video tutorial just click on the PC0. Since this route this PC is connected with router 0 which is of two, uh, one range. So I am going to click on the desktop. Under the IP configuration I need to provide the IP address as 192.168.1.2. Since dot one belongs to our right router, so dot two will be denoted to our PC. So subnet mask will automatically detect it and just need to type the default gateway of the router. So I just need to type 192.168.1.1. Leave the DNS servers as empty. Now close this. Close this. Now configure this PC one IP address as well. So just need to type desktop 
within the IP address I need to type 192.168.1.3 and subnet mask will be automatically detected now we need to type 192.168.1.1 just close this one so our site 0 is configured or you can call this this panel is completed successfully now we need to provide the IP address in this router section number 1 so I just need to click on the PC2 within this desktop I need to configure the IP address so 192.168.2.2 since the IP address of the router 1 is 2.1 so I just need to type the default gateway of router number 1 so we have completed this part and last but not the least configure the PC3 IP address so I just need to type IP address followed by 192.168.2.3 and submit mask default gateway will be 2.1 close this now we can ping each of the PC which are connected with the router so suppose you want to ping PC0 with PC2 this can be successful now you need to know its IP address so let's click on the PC0 in order to know its IP address just type IP config just you do in your windows terminal so as you can see 192.168.1.2 is this IP address and since our router is further connected with router number 1 so we can ping this PC which is PC0 to router all you need to do is just type ping 192.168.2.1 and as soon as I press enter as you can see pinging started with a loss of 0% with a success of 100% as simple as that similarly you can ping this PC which is connected to router number 1 all you need to do is just change the IP address 192.168.2.2 which belongs to PC2's IP address now as soon as I press enter it will take little bit of time and sometime it shows that request timeout in the first part but you don't need to worry because as soon as we retry to ping this request this will give us 100% success instead of 25% loss so I just need to retype my ping 192.168.2.2 and as you can see our pinging started and output is 100% success so that's how we can configure uh, Cisco Packet Tracer 2 devices 2 router with Cisco Packet Tracer using the command line interface as simple as that if you have any suggestions or doubt please do let me ask in the youtube comment section and your suggestions are always welcome until then enjoy your life thanks for watching